everyone. Asian Sleepy here. It's another pickups video. Went to the village, uh, hit up a Goodwill, and also went to two retro game stores. Village had uh, yellow and orange tags for 50% off. First thing I picked up was a VHS copy of No Holds Barred with Hulk Hogan. Pretty cool movie. It's my second copy of this, actually. The original one that I have is uh, starting to fall apart, so I was glad to find another one. That was 25 cents. Picked up some Dreamcast titles. First one I got was World Series Baseball 2K2. Pretty good shape. This doesn't have too many scratches. It's two bucks. Also picked up uh, NCAA 2K2 College Football. First college football game I've uh, ever had for the Dreamcast. It's in good shape. It's a dollar. Also picked up a copy of Virtual Tennis. It's in good shape. Disc has almost no scratches. It was a dollar. Got Sydney 2000. Looked like an interesting little Olympics game. I'll have to try it out and see how it is. Disc is pretty clean. 75 cents. And the last Dreamcast title I picked up there was this Generator Volume 2 demo disc. I remember having the original uh, orange one that came with my Dreamcast and I loved playing it. So I thought it would be interesting to see what demos are on this one. And that was 45 cents. At the Goodwill I found some books. And the first one I picked up was an Aliens book, Aliens Rogue. I enjoyed the uh, Aliens book series so I was happy to find this. It was 80 cents. The other Aliens book I picked up was Aliens Book 3, The Female War. I had the first two in this series, so I was glad to finally find the third one. It's in really good shape, and that was 80 cents. Also picked up a couple of Star Trek books. And the first one I got was Star Trek Time to Sew. Glad to find some more of these in this series. Been having trouble finding them. That was 80 cents. And the last Star Trek title I got was Star Trek A Time to Harvest. It's in really good shape, and that was 80 cents. Got a couple of loose uh, Genesis titles there, and the first one I picked up was Super Battleship, the classic naval combat game. It's kind of dirty, so I need to clean it. It was $1.60. Also picked up Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. Not sure if I have this one already, but if I do, then I'll trade away one of the other ones. It's kind of dirty, too. That was $1.60. Last loose Genesis tile I picked up, it was really clean, was Shadow of the Beast 2. Never played this before, so I don't know what it's like. It's $1.60. Did pick up a complete Genesis title there, and that was X-Men. It's really clean. The case is in really good shape. It's complete. And this is actually my second copy. And the, this cartridge is a lot cleaner than the one I have. And in mine also had this advertisement on the front that said a free sticker inside. So it was kind of interesting to find another, a version that didn't have that. And that was 80 cents. Got a couple PlayStation 2 games there. First one I got was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Pretty clean. It is complete. Disc has no scratches at all, so it's like it hasn't been played before. And I picked this up for $2.30. And the last PlayStation 2 game I got there was La Gaia 2 Dual Saga. Never played this game before, so I don't know what it's like. Definitely want to check it out. It is complete, and the disc is pretty clean. And this had a price uh, written in blue of five dollars and blue was half off and the uh, funny thing is the lady sold it to me for two dollars so I guess in her world of math two dollars is half of five but I'm not complaining I'll take it for two bucks I went to a retro game store called Game Surge I was looking for some 32x games but they had sold them all that day before I got there so it was kind of a bummer 
but I did pick up some uh, NES games, and the first one I got was Shadowgate. It's really clean. It was three dollars, and I picked up Wheel of Fortune featuring Vanna White for the NES. I need to clean up where the stickers were at. There's some residue left behind. Other than that, it's in really good shape. And this finally completes my Wheel of Fortune co uh, collection on NES. Went to uh, another retro game store called The Game Rack. And I picked up some uh, Genesis titles. Nothing too special, just mostly sports titles, but I need them for the collection. First one I got was World Series Baseball 95. Case is kind of beat up, so I need to get a new one of those. But the cartridge is in there, pretty clean. 50 cents. Picked up baseball tonight. Cases are all really dirty, but the cartridges are clean. Booklet's in good shape. 50 cents. Got NBA Action 94. It's in pretty good shape. Cartridge is clean. Manuals there. 50 cents. Got Bulls vs. Lakers and the NBA Playoffs. It's complete. Cartridge is pretty clean. 50 cents. Got Joe Montana 2 Sports Talk Football. I had the first one. Now I've got the second one. It is complete. And the cartridge is pretty clean. That was 50 cents. Got Troy Aikman Football. Really good shape. I love this case. I'm going to just uh, swap it out for another game. It's missing a manual, but the cartridge is pretty clean. 50 cents. Picked up a copy of Madden 94. Really dusty, but it is complete. And that was 50 cents. Also got a Madden 95. It's complete. It also has a stats paper that for all the teams. That was 50 cents. I have almost all the Madden games now. Also got NFL Quarterback Club 96. I have this for the Sega Saturn, so it'll be interesting to see how it is on the Sega Genesis. It's complete. The cartridge is in good shape. That was 50 cents. Picked up NHL 96. This one's also complete. The cartridge is in good shape. 50 cents. Also got a box Genesis game, which is Hardball 3. It's kind of beat up, but I haven't seen too many of these in boxes. And the cartridge is really clean. And that was 50 cents. Also got a George Foreman's KO Boxing. Never played this, so it'll be interesting to see how it is. I used to love the uh, Mike Tyson punch out game, so see if it's good like that one. It's complete. That's two dollars. Also picked up a Sega Mega Drive game, and that was the Winter Olympics. This is my second Mega Drive game. It's not complete, but the cartridge is pretty clean. It was three bucks. And the last Genesis game I got from there was this copy of Zool. Now I have the original or number two on Atari Jaguar, so I was glad to find the original game, and that was three bucks. All right, guys, that's all my pickups so far. Plan to go to some more stores this weekend, so you know if I find anything, definitely have another video up for you guys. And also want to say thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome, and good luck in my contest. And you guys take care, have a good day, and I'll see you in my next video.